Hello friends, welcome to Apple Mac Live. I am Kanchan Varma and today in this episode we are discussing about the street food available in Delhi. You know the street food tradition has a long history. It is said that it was originated in Roman Empire and since then the tradition is being followed by human race till today and I think it will be there in future also. We have in this episode a very interesting uh, personality who will be discussing about the items, the taste, the joints in Delhi where you can find an uh, uh, item of your choice. So stick around to this episode till the end. You will find this episode very interesting. Welcome back and today we have a very interesting personality Dutu Gupta who is a very uh, good cook and she uh, generally I have heard from uh, from many people that she make fusion food and she knows what chemical to be <laughs> integrated and what chemical uh, will give a nicer taste for our uh, taste buds. So we will be discussing something very interesting today and uh, uh, let's go to Ritu and and ask what she is offering to our viewers today. So welcome to the show. Ritu, how are you doing today? I'm absolutely fine. Thank you, Kanchan. And I feel so great to talk about food because I think food is there in my, uh, when I breathe, it is food. And food makes me happy and food, it really makes me feel great also when I have to cook for other people. So it's a very interesting topic that we are picking up today. And when I talk about food, I only talk about street food of Delhi. Well, it will be very interesting to talk to you regarding street food of Delhi because Delhi being a capital and I am sure that uh, uh, Delhi offers lot of combination of cuisine across India. I think we can get any type of food in, in Delhi. So tell, tell us more about this street food of Delhi. So, uh, you know, what you said is right that we can get for any kind of food, whether it's from any state of India or whether it's international food like Mexican and Italian and, you know, we have the Greek food also, which is available in Delhi as per the pocket of people. It's very pocket friendly. So when we talk about Delhi food, most of us, we talk about Delhi chaat, which is, you know, golgappas and chickies and uh, bhalla papri. But now... Uh, the younger generation has gone one step ahead. They are, I mean, everywhere in Delhi, you may find the northeastern food, which is like momos and chow mein and, you know, the clear soup, which is also part of uh, street food. And when you talk about international food, uh, I see close to my house also many kiosks serving you know pastas and pizzas and various other things which are international food so when you talk about delhi food delhi food has crossed the boundaries it has crossed the boundaries it's gone outside india also but everything is pocket friendly and it's street food because the um, let's say the ingredients which is used is a very local ingredients local ingredients are used to make the international food uh, well, uh, while talking to you, I remember when I was in college in Delhi and uh, we used to visit Central Secretariat and uh, there were a mm -hmm. lot of uh, uh, very good uh, joints and uh, we as friend circle, we used to eat there and then used to come back uh, uh, to home. And I also remember one place which is in front of Hindustan Times office, which uh, yes. a person who, who used to offer fruit chart and it was awesome. I have not tasted anywhere else in India till now. So uh, definitely. Yes. So. Um, uh, any any street food which you like and uh, you feel that this uh, this uh, all street food is uh, has to be uh, given a weightage or people should uh, complement it or uh, uh, popularize that person uh, that person or that chaos. Okay, so I would really like to mention three people. And first is, I think he's very popular, Anna. Anna, uh, you will find him very close to Parliament House uh, on the Janta Mantan Street. And he will be serving only uh, South Indian food. Right from 6 o'clock in the morning to 11 in the night, you will find all kinds of South Indian food with him. And it's, it's, he's very hygienic. 
and he serves food in a very hygienic manner and his food is very popular and very clean food number 2 i want to mention i'm sure you know about bharti vidya bhavan so the on, on the roundabout of bharti vidya bhavan there is a joint and that person serves all kind of shakes tea coffee and you know maggi and uh, the uh, chaat papri but that person is so popular it's because his contact his uh, about his memory of each person visiting his store so he has made a kind of relationship with each person so when i go he knows that i don't like taking sugar in my tea or coffee so he gives me that special privilege that i don't have to remind him now the third one uh, i want to mention about is If you know Sri Ram Center, just outside the main gate of Sri Ram Center, there is one snack guy, BM Snacks, and he is very popular only for bread pakoras, samosas, and tea and coffee. It's available throughout the day. So I feel I see people sitting there, talking and sipping their tea and coffee, and just munching on bread pakoras and samosas. But the relationship which they make there, the licensing which they do, because they are all in theaters, they want to act in more and more places. So this place has a very special aroma, a special place in in the heart of every Delhi element. Well, uh, while mentioning all the dishes and definitely the uh, the ambience, because I know these places very well, and I really feel like just going there right now, actually. <laughs> But then <laughs> we are still uh, we are uh, inside the house and we are following social distancing. So when you are talking all this, so I uh, really uh, tempting really to go out and uh, yes. visit these places. So um, I would like to know uh, how you. You can differentiate street food from a restaurant fruit or from a home fruit. See, uh, street food is very simple, and you are served food on the street only. The stalls, the shacks, the kiosks are there on the roadside, and either you are standing. or you are using the bonnet of your car or perhaps there is just one high table and the food quality is good but then the prices are not very high when you go to when you visit a restaurant there is a person a steward waiting for you he takes the order you give the order and then you know you have to tip the person and the prices are exorbitantly high uh, as per as compared to the street food and obviously the garnishing of the food is done in a very nice manner what you get Uh, in the restaurant, there are extra garnishing, and you find uh, various other touches, which is very good. I'm not saying street food is bad, but then you do not find that kind of garnishing. But when you are making food at home, perhaps it may not be very spicy. Perhaps it may not be up to the taste of uh, like what you get in street. But then you may give the same look also because the ingredients, the spices used in the street food, they are very local and they are very raw, so the taste is different. uh well uh, as for me is concerned i feel that when we make food at home so sometimes it depends on mood because uh, as everybody says that you have to be happy while cooking in food but sometimes we are oh, not yes. happy <laughs> we are not happy and we cook food and that kind of temperament or that feelings uh, generally people say yes. even the old in people of um or uh, in the in the indian uh, uh, text it's written that you have to be as lady has have to be very happy to uh, go in the kitchen and cook so that a yes. very good taste come out but but when we talk about um, street food the one thing which i uh, personally appreciate is that whenever you go in that particular joint you will find the same taste no variation yes. so i think that is something yes. which is very very unique uh, when we talk about uh, street food so which street food that's the secret yeah <laughs> so which uh, street food you like most oh, well kanchan i'm feeling tempted now i love to eat tikkis and chanas i love golgappas and i feel that having golgappas standing on the street something going in your mouth something spilling out of your mouth that's the fun to eat golgappa standing on the street yes definitely because these uh, pani puri and uh, tikkis they are the traditional yeah. indian spicy food mm-hmm. and we had been eating this uh, generation from generation and still appreciating yeah. <laughs> this uh, recipe and this uh, item of food so before i close i just want to tell you that 
wonderful talking to you because you see what there's water in my mouth i have to close this episode. <laughs> episode now i will be meeting again next time with a very interesting episode till then bye bye thank you kanchan and i hope that you you're going to eat something nice yeah, now yeah i'm planning to I'm, make it at home actually yes. now <laughs> yes <Okay>. thank you <laughs> thank bye. you kanchan bye bye